Hi guys, so if you've ordered any of the PNG words or phrases from ArkeshaLewisGraphics.com, this will be a short tutorial or a tutorial showing you how to um, use those for a nameplate for your earrings. So my files are huge, so when you get it, it'll probably be huge. So you just go ahead and resize it. Doesn't matter what size right now. All you're concerned about is getting these two apart because if you've ordered one that has two different um, images then you'll want to separate them so you can use them so you'll grab a square and you'll take that square and you'll put it over one of those images and you'll hit slice once it slices it you'll just turn off the one you're not using and now you're ready to size this image for whatever size you need okay and how you determine what size you need is let's take this circle for instance and then let's duplicate it and what I'm gonna do is make this circle white so you can see what I'm doing okay and I'm gonna place it there about there and then I'm gonna hit slice And then I'm going to make this circle gold so it represents the earring okay so let's say you have you're gonna to have to measure your own earrings I cannot tell you the size of your earring you're gonna to have to do that yourself so you take your earring and let's say your earring you measured it and let's say your earring was a 3.5 you're gonna make the the circle a 3.5 well, you won't need to do the circle here. I'm just doing the circle as a representation of an earring. So this earring is 3.5. That's what size your earring is. You'll want to make your plate that same width. So you can take and make put 3.5 here. And just to check it, you can make sure. You can bring this to the front. Bring it to the front. You don't need this. Cut that off or delete it. You'll see that from corner to corner this plate fits this earring so you can turn this off this was just a guide showing you how you measure for the earrings for the nameplate I mean so you got this nameplate at 3.5 you don't need to do anything else to for sizing so the next thing you need to do is make a duplicate for your second plate so now you have your two plates Let's make a duplicate of these. Let's group these together. If you want the back of this nameplate to look the same as this, then you would just um, make the duplicate, like I said, group these, and then just horizontal flip. And then attach these and hit make it will turn it to fit the paper so then you just um, hit continue and then it will send this to your printer make sure you have your printer connected to your um, computer or your phone however you use it and then let your printer print, print this out and once it prints out you put it on your Cricut mat and then run it through your machine and your machine will cut it out for you so let's say that you um you're gonna put silver glitter on the back or blue glitter or pink glitter or whatever glitter in that case you will make this a basic cut file and then you can you can make it blue or whatever just this is just to help you so once you or if you don't if you're not gonna do two then you could just cut these off and let me step back a minute cut these off and then hit make and run these two through your um, printer and let your printer print those out and then put it on your mat and let your mat cut it that way you have your two images already done so once you have those two images done, if you're going to use 
the glitter or whatever color that you want to put on the back of your for your nameplate you make sure there's still horizontally flipped and then you'll hit make load your mat with blue glitter pink glitter whatever glitter you want whatever you can use foil silver gold whatever you want to use and cut that out of that card stock okay now to build the rest of the um, plate we're going to make a duplicate of this and we're just going to cut this group off no, this group cut this group off and we're going to make these into cut files now the middle layers you can use white cardstock you can use a colored cardstock you can use black cardstock you can use the um, cardboard um, cardstock colored cardstock whatever you want to use for your middle layers but for your middle layers this side it represent one earring and this side will represent the other ear other nameplate for the earring so I use I like to use four to six layers for the nameplate if I'm used making big earrings 3.5 is rather a large earring I'll reduce it down to no less than four and I will be using um, 110 pound cardstock to make my layers nothing under that because you end up having to do more layers so then I'll just duplicate this four times so then there's my four for one for one nameplate and there's my four for the, another nameplate and like I said you can cut this out of black cardstock white cardstock colored cardstock but you want to make sure whatever you do, cut it out of for your layer your middle layers you're going to make sure that is 110 pounds so you hit make and you load your mat with your white sheet or your black sheet or whatever color cardstock you're going to cut this out of and then you hit continue and let that cut now um for this this has nothing to do with design and now this is now that you have everything cut and in front of you I'm just showing you on the computer or on the screen what it would look like so I could actually leave those like that and let's turn on the these and let's move them to the front and let's ungroup them so you would glue all four of these together all four of these together and then you would glue this to the top and when I say glue you can use my podge for this so you would glue a stack of four together and then glue the front um, piece on my podge it on and then your back piece is whatever you use to cut them out of group this because I don't know where I turn them off at here they go so your back pieces on the screen they'll look backwards but on when you get them in um, after you cut them out you're going to just flip them over and glue them they'll fit perfectly to the back of this so you'll just um, glue them to the back so it won't look like this but you'll glue it on top of each other so it stacks up neatly and evenly so you will have all that glued together and then you mop podge the front if you're doing glitter for the back or foil you won't need to mop podge that at all but you mop podge the front let it dry and then you can apply your resin to the front cure it then flip it over and apply your resin to the back then you glue it straight to the earring that is it that is it guys 
hope this helps.